Okay, everyone, we... Okay. Hey, guys. Um, this is a video on TF2. Oh, you can see the TF2. Um, it's going to be about... It's going to be story time with Anthony and Matthew. Hello. And it's going to be about the time that we set a stink bomb off in class. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was, it was so funny. Okay, so um, I'm going to be explaining the story because it was kind of my fault. I completely blamed Anthony for it. <laughs> and he's going to be playing, so excuse him if he's really, really, really bad. And that guy's bad as well. What is he doing? So the previous day to what we did, the day before the uh, stink bomb incident, I guess you could call it, I had gone down to like my local corner store. And I was like, oh, cool, look, a stink bomb. We should buy that. And we should go throw it in uh, one of our other friend's book bags. You know, it'd be funny. So I bought it, you know, kept it in my, in my house for like a day. Then I uh, brought it to school. And we <laughs> showed, it, showed it to everyone. You know, we thought it would be a good idea. And we were trying to put it in this kid's book bag, but it just it just wasn't gonna happen. He he had his book bag on his back or whatever. It was like so we came up with the fantastic idea of opening his locker because we knew the combination to it. Opening his locker and throwing the stink bomb inside of it. And we we o we had opened the locker. We had uh we had smashed it so it would explode, and then we had closed his locker. So. This kid was able to open his locker quick enough with <laughs> He was over to he was able to open this locker quick enough for the stink bomb not to explode. And uh so this kid opened the locker, he rips it open, and he like takes this bomb and he throws it on the floor. And we're all waiting for this thing to explode, but because we're idiots, we, we didn't hit it hard enough and it didn't it didn't detonate. So we're sitting there all stupid and we just stomp it and it starts inflating and we just kick it under the desk and just run away and this bomb explodes. Everybody turns to where they hear the explosion they see three little kids just bolt across the room. This was in 7th grade. This was in 7th grade, yeah, that was funny. Alright, yeah, mama. Alright, and uh... We had, uh, the teacher had, you know, all sat us down. He was like, this is a big mistake you kids have done. Uh, I don't know who in the class did it. And, <laughs> yeah, he was looking straight at our faces. Like, he was about to steal our souls with his eyeballs. And he told us that if we confess right now, the entire... I did it! He said if we confess right now, the entire class isn't going to get blamed for, uh, what we did. And, you know, of course, he just wanted us to come out and be honest, but... We sat there and didn't say a word. You know, we go to the next block and we're like, oh, okay, so we obviously didn't do anything. You know, we went we, it clear. And then, you know, they pulled me out of, uh, I think I was in gym at the time. Yeah, they pulled me out of gym and they brought me to, like, this little creepy back room type thing. And they, they, they were like, you kids have done a big mistake here, you know. I should, I should uh, expel you from school, which, of course, they weren't going to do. They were just trying to scare us. And... Oh, that uh, go tell them about, tell them about Mr. Winston. Let's about him. He's playing big ass bald <laughs> yeah. black man. He was this huge bald black man with this shiny head. <laughs> and you can't take him really seriously. He's kind of a joke. So um, as he's screaming at us about how, you know, we supposedly sent like nine kids to the hospital for asthma attacks, which which never happened, right? That never happened. No, no it never happened. It was, it, was, it was a complete lie. It was... Just to get us scared, I guess. Yes, I have a lot of money there, sir. Please put it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, at the time, I think uh, our other friend Kamara was sitting in the um, in the room with me, and Anthony was still in class. So, you know, he was asking us, "Did anyone else take part in this crime?" He called it a crime. <laughs> Because supposedly we had assaulted people. I don't, I don't know how that we works. Assaulted their nostrils. <laughs> exactly. So uh, I'll uh, I I think I did it. I think I slipped. And uh, he was like, "Oh, who's Anthony?" And I was like, "Oh, no, 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 no one's Anthony." So they're like, "Oh, okay. We're well, we're gonna go find this kid." So they pull they pull Anthony out of class and they they bring him downstairs. And for some reason, um. 
They blamed Anthony and I, and the other kid just got off completely free. Which, it was, I don't know how, but they just let him off. And so that kid didn't get in trouble. Anthony and I got in trouble. It wasn't really his fault. Anthony's fault. It was, it was mainly me, but somehow he took part in it. That guy's blue, Anthony. You are blue. <laughs> Since he took part in it, I guess, as well, he was also blamed, I guess? I don't know how that works really. I guess he was like a the getaway driver in a I sense. Was an accessory to, a crime. Yeah, to a crime, to a heinous crime that endangered the lives of millions of small little children. He murdered puppies. He murdered puppies, yes. Ah, get him with a shovel. Get him with a shovel. Oh, oh wow, we have that. So we had been sentenced to a Saturday atten detention, which is um, I have to wake up at like. 5 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday just to go all the way to school and sit there and do nothing for four hours which is which is kind of stupid because we really we, we had lots of fun in that class you know we all had like a PS3's out PSP's wow we all had our PSP's out you know messing around doing whatever we want and you know it was, it was a good it was a good way to to spend out Saturday I guess Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I had been bored, so I thought it'd be a good idea to bring gum, you know, to keep myself company, I guess. Keep myself company. So there's this gum. It was an entire pack of gum. And I'm like, you know what, Anthony, I could probably put this gum in my mouth. So I took every single piece out of this gum. It was like 20 pieces, and I jammed it all in my mouth and ate it. And... After like a minute of chewing, my jaw was like on fire. <laughs> so I had taken it out and just jammed it underneath the table. And th this was the biggest piece of gum in your entire life. Like, have you ever put your hand under a desk and felt like a little gum? It was like the size of a softball. It was enormous. And, <laughs> and when you when you touched it to the when you like when I hit it against the table, it made like a squishy sound. It was this. It was like gross. It was, like, that that had happened. I also got white out all over me because of some girl. I didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad idea. Don't do it, guys. What else did we do that day? Oh yeah, weren't you weren't your parents mad at me for a while? Yeah. And we came back to school, and you know we were heroes. Everyone was like, "Oh, yo, I heard what you guys did. You know, it's so amazing." And we were like, "Yeah." Yeah, that, that was that was cool. That was a. It was a. Uh, Interesting. Interesting way to uh, so that was, that was basically our story. You know, if you want us to do more of these, you know, like, favorite, subscribe, the control point has been captured. share. See you guys on the sunrise. Yes, see you guys on the sunrise. I'm mm. gonna keep that. I'm gonna say that every Okay, time. are you sure? I just, I just got it at the. I'm gonna say that. Oh All my right. god, that was bad. Goodbye. Idea.